Okay, so we're going to help a truck trailer on fire right now. We've already used all of our fire extinguishers and it's not going out. before this is my most favorite drive in the entire United States I'm padding Dakota said <laughs> and I'm super excited to show you guys the closer we get to Portland the cooler it looks there's waterfalls and lots of green trees I believe unicorns live here that's how much I love this place I hope you guys enjoy as well I'm gonna continue to get down the road <laughs> how, how have you been are you good this morning Love you. Okay, mamas. Get that. Are you hungry? You want some food? Yeah. You want the apple? Yeah. What's funny is whenever I feed her food or fruit or anything, even bananas, she'll eat it like a human. Like she'll bite off the top of it, which is really funny. But she's always really careful when she eats her food to try not to get my fingers. That's why she's biting so softly. And I just think it's cute. And then of course, like if I take it away and then bring it back, sometimes she'll wait for it, but not now. <laughs> She's had too much. She's like, oh, that's mine now. But um, yeah, most of the time I taught her that when I drop food on the ground in the truck, she doesn't get it. So she'll just, she'll leave it where it's at and she'll just ignore that it's there. I could leave a whole pizza on the floor in here, go into the truck stop and come back and that pizza will not have been touched. Which I think is a really important thing to teach her because if I'm driving and I drop something like chocolate or something like that, then um, no, that, yeah, like that, there you go. I think that's, oh, you got that side. No, like down here, that part, there you go, okay. That's it. Girl. Okay, let's go. You're not going, I'm going. That's not what that is. these people 
school. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. Alrighty. They're gonna open the gate. They said not to park the trailer and I'm meeting somebody back here, but I don't see anybody, so I'm gonna go look for somebody. It's okay. And then we can play afterwards, after I'm done. Okay. Um, need this for bills. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I dropped off the trailer and I drove down to the Jubits truck stop in Portland. And so that's where I am now. And um, Dakota wants to go out and walk around, so I'm going to go take her out. And then I'm hoping to possibly meet up with a friend and eat some lunch here. But um, I'm not sure yet if that's going to happen. And I'm waiting on my next assignment, so we'll see what that is and when it is, because I have no idea. But uh, he says he's working on it, so I don't know. Anyways, let's just take a break and relax now, since it's all done with. Right? You're on top of my seat. Love you, dog. Yeah, wait, wait. Okay, take a bite. Good morning guys, um, Dakota had her breakfast banana <laughs> and um, I'm still in Portland and so there's no loads here so I'm just going to bobtail back home and then I think I have a load to pick up in Logan, Utah. So let's uh, get on down the road and hopefully we can get some cool shots of some of the stuff we get to see. And I'm kind of excited because being a bobtail we can kind of stop a little bit more easily where we want to and eat where we want to for the most part. Sometimes it's hard, but we'll figure it out. In the stillness somewhere above The city lights you're falling in because they get all their nutrients through cell diffusion. So basically, as the water flows over them, they get their nutrients or they take them in from the air. And so what's cool about moss is they actually reproduce a lot like we do. And there's male and female. I think they're called colonies. And um, as the water runs over them, the male plants, their little sperm go to the female plants and then that's how they make new moss. So that's pretty cool. Plus I just think it's super cool that they're like a fuzzy plant, you know? <laughs> Anyways. Alright, let's get, ooh look, that's a succulent right there. That's pretty cool. This rock looking. That's so cool.
right, so we're going to help a truck trailer on fire right now. I'm gonna go put some triangles out to try to warn traffic because we've already used all of our fire extinguishers and it's not going out, so <sighs> let's go do this. brand new all right so we're around a curve right now and the smoke's really bad so nobody can see coming through here and I've almost been hit a couple of times already by trucks so we're gonna make sure this guy is seen let me grab the other one Okay, so we were driving down the road, or I was driving down the road, and saw a trailer parked on the side of the road and some flames coming from the tires. So immediately pulled over to go help. Um, my 
camera guy, BKM, is actually an ex-police officer, so he grabbed the fire extinguisher. I just told him where it was. He grabbed the fire extinguisher and ran over there and tried to help. And when that didn't work, he came back and um, he grabbed his camera and I... I noticed that there was people coming by and they were like almost hitting us. They weren't slowing down for this and I knew it was gonna get worse. So I got out the triangles to go set them out. But before all that, called the police and then set out the triangles um, just to make sure that people could see because we're actually like around a corner. So the corner, <laughs> I don't know how to, Never mind. Um, so was out there with one of his lights that he has and it was red so just wave that up and down to try to get people to slow down because it was getting really dangerous you actually couldn't see through the smoke and people were just flying around the corner you know and everybody was going to crash into each other so he was helping with the fire and then he was recording and then I was putting out the triangles so just stayed and um, I got to meet the guy and he's a really nice guy and so I think it's really important that we all stop to help each other because there's so many trucks that just went flying by. We're all out here together, we're a family. If we don't look out for each other, nobody's gonna look out for, I don't know, us. So, just gotta be. And guys, meet Frappuccino. This is Dakota's new toy that she loves playing with. So I figured, because I get Starbucks, she can have her own version of Starbucks. Big shout out to the Oregon State Troopers and um, got to meet Trooper Jackson and he was super kind. And um, so he was on the scene and I don't know, it, it was very crazy and it was really cool to get on video, but I mean, this is just a warning to like everybody, just watch out for each other if you see somebody else's brakes going just you gotta you gotta let him know and um, so he did he actually had somebody that let him know um, because sometimes you can't see it there's so many people that I've actually stopped while I was in my car and I've rolled down my window like honking my horn telling people to pull over because their brakes were on fire and sometimes you just don't see it in your mirrors because it's really small and um, so it's it's not like it's easy or not easy to miss because it is sometimes it just depends on how far it is and um, sometimes once they start there's no stopping them let's be mindful and help each other because that's what it's about out here so I think there's plenty of stuff in this video already and I'm gonna spend the rest of my time driving and I'm sure you notice my fingers are a little messed up that's for another time today has been a long day and um, so I will see you guys in the next one. So, bye. <laughs> well, you gotta let me grab him. Can I have him? Toss him to me. Okay, chew him. <laughs>